This is a quick tutorial on how to get online with the latest 4.55 PSN update. The first thing to do is install the latest PSN patch 2.25 and then we're going to use the spoof um, to spoof our firmware to 4.55. Um, if you're on Habib 4.53 um, you're going to need the Habib spoof method. So download the zip file and put that on a USB stick and open Multiman and go into the file manager area. Open your USB and just extract the zip file. Uh, it'll extract in the right location and uh, it took me a couple of seconds to realize how this works so it, it basically installs the files that tells the system it's on 4.55 firmware. So all you have to do is restart the system and then um, you're good to go. Uh, I'm just browsing through the file system here. Nothing really to see. And we start the system. Okay, we're back with the system restarted. So that was really easy. All we had to do is extract the zip file and restart the system. And now uh, we're able to go on PSN again. Um, this isn't really the... Uh, per se correct way to do it. Uh, the best way to do it would be actually to uh, get a real 4.55 firmware and make a custom firmware out of it. But this is just going around that. So just to show you uh, that it is currently spoofed to 4.55, that's what it would look like. Now the next thing we're going to do is open Multiman and start our game. So choose the game you want to play. And it's going to be uh, Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z for this example. This game just came out. It's not often Sony makes uh, firmware updates. Last update was December 4th for 4.53. Okay, so that didn't work. So it seems to be that Multiman is out of date. Because we've spoofed up to 4.55, the 4.53 Multiman version uh, doesn't want to work. So what we're going to have to do is delete Multiman and reinstall the 4.55. Now it should work. Although I did install the 4.55 Multiman, uh, I didn't delete the Multiman version before that. Now open PSN patch and press triangle to disable CFW and exit. This hides the system call files so that Sony doesn't see you're on a modded console. Now log into PSN. And then we should be good to go. So that's a few steps we had to do f to get from 4.53 firmware uh, to be able to play our game back on PSN. So this works for any game and it's uh, not necessary to hide the system call files using PSN patch but I think it's a good idea especially since we're not on uh, a custom firmware built on 4.55 we're still on the 4.53 built custom firmware. So just to show you that this works out I'm gonna continue running the game and it's loading up on the PSN, communicating with the network, so everything seems to be okay. Um, so the one thing that you definitely shouldn't do is update your uh, firmware by the internet or to any Sony official firmware, because then you lose all these special features. This is taking a while for this uh, room to load. So I guess I'll talk about the new firmware. The new firmware doesn't really have any special features. I really didn't read anything about it or hear anything different. Uh, I'm sure it's just some kind of security uh, features they put in so you can't use the Cobra dongle anymore. Apparently that's obsolete now with the new firmware. But if your console is downgraded, then uh, there's no problem. You could install any patch or spoof we need to get back online. So, uh, if you haven't had your console model already, uh, give me a call. Uh, my number is on the ad. Uh, check out my webpage, ps3montreal.blogspot.com or .ca. Um, keep, keep up to date for uh, my existing clients. So, if there's a new firmware that comes out or any new updates with Multiman Showtime, uh, it's, it's all going to be updated there for you. Um, so, I'll try and keep in touch. Thanks. Out.